This is gonna be so good. Three, four. Oops. Two, three, four. We were both young when I first saw you. We went to the bank. We went to the bar. You went to school. Yeah, we both went to school. Throw me out, Juliet. Call me on the telephone. It's just fine. You can call me on the telephone. Everybody knows about a Romeo and Juliet. It's a love story, baby. Where? Romeo and Juliet Love Story by Tyler Swife. Guys, on this day of days, we're gonna learn the song. I believe that what we're going to learn is the is a comprehensive compendium of the most important different guitar parts and violin parts from the song combined into one thing that is closest to what Tyler herself plays when she plays it live, which is a capo on two standard tuning. Guys, we're gonna talk about that intro banjo part, but we're not going to do it at this moment. We're going to save that for later. What we're going to do now is we're going to play the chord version of the introduction. It goes a little something like this. Aren't you excited? First thing you need to do is you need to get a C chord ready. Put your ring finger on the third fret of the second string from the top. Put your middle finger on the second fret of the third string from the top and your pointer finger on the first fret of the second string from the bottom. Guys, if they, if you're new to the C chord, it's a little bit of a tricky chord to play. It's uncomfortable, your fingers all like get in the way, they mute, the strings are not supposed to mute. It's a disaster and a half. Here's what I recommend. See what I'm doing here? Don't do that, watch this, watch. Oh, there we go. You bring your thumb up over the top. Don't try to like stretch your fingers apart. Just kind of fan your fingers out like that. So I'm, re I'm reaching at this angle up to the strings. It might take a little bit of getting used to, but you can do it. Now let's talk about the strumming on this C chord. You're gonna palm mute it. That means you're gonna take this part of your hand. You're just gonna gently touch this part of the strings. So now we get that little muted sound. You're just gonna strum down. Uh, eight times in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you just do that, it's gonna sound great. But if you wanna one-up it and do it closer to how Taylor Swift plays it live, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna accent three of the strums. You're gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. I don't love how this video has started so far, so I'm debating whether I should start over, but check out my mug, guys. Did you notice me not so subtly showing it off at the beginning of the video? Uh, repeat after me. Hard, soft, soft, hard, soft, soft, hard, soft. That's too hard to say. Let's just go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Re say it with me. Three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Now let's play it. And every time you say one, you're just gonna strum a little bit harder. Three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Three, one, two. Guys, you've got it. You've got the driving beat of the rhythm of the song, Love Story, by Taylor Tyler. Guys, after you play through that pattern one time, we're gonna play it again, but with one tiny difference. You're gonna get rid of your pointer finger, and for the first strum, first strum only, strum it without the pointer finger. Then complete the rest of the pattern, but with your pointer finger back on the first fret. So it goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Play it with me. Watch me. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Sorry, that was confusing. I said watch me right after I said play it with me. I gave you mixed signals. My fingernails are too long. We have now completed the C section of the introduction to the song, and we move to the G sus section of the introduction of the song. So you've got your C chord. Now watch this. Get rid of your middle finger completely, and then move your ring finger up to the third fret of the top string. Now, except here's the thing. So we're pushing on the third fret of the top string, but we need the pad of your ring finger to touch the second string from the top and mute it. So now we've got third fret muted, then open, open, first fret with your pointer finger. The bottom string is probably muted and that's fine. It's gonna be great. Guys, this is a G sus chord. We're gonna do the exact same thing on this chord. We're gonna go 
One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. We are now going to switch from the G chord to the A minor chord, guys. Get rid of your ring finger completely. Put your middle finger on the second fret of the third string from the top. Put your ring finger on the second fret of the third string from the bottom. Keep your pointer finger in that same spot. This is an A minor chord. I recommend you have your thumb come up over the top and mute the top string. Do the exact same pattern again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, pointer, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Fantastic job. We now switch to an F chord. Get rid of your ring finger and your middle finger. Keep your pointer finger in the same spot. Put your middle finger on the second fret of the third string from the bottom and put your ring finger on the third fret of the third string from the top. Now for this chord, this is an F chord, you guys. People of the world, friends and relatives, my name's Stuart. Welcome to the channel. Like and subscribe. So many songs. This is my first Taylor Swift song I have up here. I wonder how many more I'll do. Do the exact same pattern on the F. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Guys, we have completed the introduction to the song Love Story by Taylor Swift. Let's play it all the way through with the C chord, the G sus, the A minor, and the F. One, two, not too fast, and... Guys, sounds great. Sounds just like Tyler herself. The verse of the song is going to keep the same strumming pattern going, but it is not crucial that you do that. Boom, 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 boom. If you just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that, that's going to be perfectly fine here. It's not a big deal. You can go back and forth. It's going to be fine. C chord. Same as the first chord from the intro. So we go, we were both young when I first blah blue. Then we don't go to the G sus. We go to the straight to the F chord. So here's the good news. Switching from C to F is easy. You just take your middle finger and your ring finger and you move them down one string like that. So now we've got top string is muted by the thumb. Second string for the top is open. Then you have third fret, second fret, first fret. And then the bottom string, we haven't really talked about this. Bottom string, if it's muted, that's great. If it's open, that's also great. They're both fantastic. And we do the F through the pattern. Then we go to A minor. Do you remember the A minor chord? Get your ring finger and your middle finger out of there. Put your middle finger, second fret, third string from the top. Ring finger, second fret, third string from the bottom. And then we go back to the F chord, the one we just did. Guys, we're halfway through the verse. So that was C, F, A minor, F. Play it with me. Watch my bluff. It's not a thing. One, two, three, then the F. Oh. And then the A minor chord. Having a great time. Back to the F. This is so much fun. We're going to do the second half of the verse pretty much exactly the same as the first half, except for not exactly the same because of one difference. Shut up. The second half of the verse goes like this. You have the C chord, you do the F, exactly the same. Then you go to F, exactly the same. Go to the A minor, exactly the same. But then instead of going back to F, we're going to go to our G sus chord. That's where you have your ring finger playing three on top, mute the second string from the top, then open, open, then your pointer finger is still on one. That's how you play the verse to the song. Let's play it all the way through. Do we dare? I dare. I dare you to play it along with me. One, two, three, four. Oh, switched to the F. Switch to the A minor. Yes. Then back to the F chord. Then we start it over back to C. Yes. We're doing fine. Then the F. Yeah. Watch my mind. Then the A minor. Then get ready for the G. We go to G. Finally, we've made it to the pre-chorus. Guys, the pre-chorus might be my favorite part of the entire song. I just love pre-choruses in general. Let me play it for you. Three, four. 
Starts with the F chord, but it's not, it's, it ain't no ordinary F chord, guys. Get your regular F chord ready to go, but then get rid of your middle finger. So now that third string from the bottom is open. Guys, this is called an F sus 2 chord. You don't need to remember it. You can just call it F. It's fine. We're just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we're only staying on that chord half as long as we usually do, just eight strums. Then we're gonna go to a G, but it's not gonna be a G sus chord. It's gonna be a plain old regular G chord. Here's how you do that. Take your ring finger, move it up to the third fret on the top string, then get rid of your pointer finger. Make sure the second string from the top is muted by your ring finger. And then you have a choice here. The way I do it is the bottom of my ring finger touches the bottom string and mutes it. Your other option is you can have your pinky play the third fret on the bottom string. We don't want to hear the open bottom string. It's not what we want. We can either have third fret with the pinky or we can have it muted by the ring finger. That was terrible. Is that what it sounds like when I play? There we go, that's better. The one finger G. I love the one finger G. Uh, after that one finger G, we're gonna switch to an A minor chord. Do you remember the A minor? Look, we're gonna put our money where our mouths are and we're gonna, I'm not gonna show you how to play it. I'm just gonna tell you to go to the A minor. I hope that you remember it. We do eight strums on the A minor, then we go to C. Here's the magic of the C chord. When you go from A minor to C, all you have to do is move your ring finger to the third fret of the second string from the top. That's all you have to do. The other two fingers stay the same. So now we've got the F sus two, going to the G, excuse me. Then we go to the A minor, then we go to C. Great, eight strums each. Back to the F sus two. Uh, what's happening to me? Then we go to the G again. Then we go to A minor again. Then we're gonna go like this. We're gonna do four strums on the F sus two and then we're gonna do four strums on the G sus. So we're back to the G sus. We're not doing the regular G anymore, we're doing the G sus. So that was a lot of stuff, let me walk you through. We've got F sus two to G, then A minor, then the easy switch to C, back to the F sus two, then the G again, then the A minor, then check it out, F sus two, G sus. Yes, there literally is a, a chord called G-sus. I'm not making that up. Moving on to the chorus, guys. The chorus, the strumming is gonna change a little bit. Now, sometimes when Taylor Swift plays it live, she just keeps going down, 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 just not palm muting. Sometimes she goes down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, like that. We're gonna do the down, up method for the chorus. The reason why is it gives this chorus a whole different vibe. It gives it this big open sound compared to the tight, closed off sound of the pre-chorus. C chord, you you know the C chord by now. We're just gonna go down, up, 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 down, up. That was 16 strums, eight beats, two measures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're gonna switch to the G sus. Pointer finger stays in the same spot. Move your ring finger up. One, two, eight beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I said eight beats. Eight beats, seats, deets, eats, f's, jeets. Look, here's the thing, guys. I say a lot of things. Sometimes they end up being helpful or interesting or funny, and sometimes I say eights, beats, seats, deets. You just gotta say things and hope that some of them are interesting. So then you go to the A minor chord. Down, up, 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 down, up. Then go to the F sus two chord again. You're gonna strum down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then you're gonna switch to a regular G and you're gonna strum down, up, down, up, down. So that was just five strums on the on the regular G. So that was F, two, three, four, down, up, down, up, down. That's where they go, down, up, down, up, say yes. We stop and then you sing yes. Guys, let's play the chorus all the way through. One, two, three, four. Romeo, Juliet, you are a Dubliet. I am a Dubliet. Walking back and we get back. Oh, everybody is singing all the songs today. Going ghost story, baby, just say yes. Oh, now there is a. We have completed the chorus and we are moving on to the very brief interlude. The interlude is like a quick little rehash of the introduction. Now, what I like to do here is I switch to the banjo part here. Now, the, the banjo part is playable on guitar. However, 
To really play it effectively, you have to do it with out the capo, but it's not really practical for us to take the capo off for this part and then put it back on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the capo on too, and we're gonna kind of fudge the banjo part a little bit. We're gonna play all the right notes, but it's gonna, here, so with your pointer finger, play two on the third string from the top. Then with your ring finger, play five on the third string from the top. As you're getting to that fifth fret on the third string from the top, also put your pinky on five of the third string from the bottom and pointer finger on third fret of the second string from the bottom. Once you play five on the third string from the top, jump down to the second string from the bottom, then play third string from the bottom, back to second string from the bottom, then third string from the bottom, third string from the top, back to third string from the bottom. So watch very carefully. Mind your P's and Q's. It goes two, five, three, five, three, five, bing, bong. One more time, look at this, and boom. Second from the bottom, third from the bottom, second from the bottom, third from the bottom, third from the top, third from the bottom. A little bit faster, it's... We would like to do that two times. If you're like, Uncle Stuart, this is so difficult, I don't want to do that, no problem. Just play a C chord and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just do that instead and you're fine. All right, moving on from the interlude. Verse number two. Guys, verse number two is just the second half of verse number one. So that means we're going C to F to A minor to the G sus. And that's it. That's all we do with our one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, rhythm. Let's do it once right now just to make sure that everyone knows what's going on. One, two, here we go. Then you go to A minor, oh. Then go straight to the G sus, oh. Okay, great job. Then we go to the pre-chorus. This, this pre-chorus is literally chord for chord, note for note, exactly the same as the first pre-chorus. So I'm not even going to explain it again. We're just going to we're just going to move on to the second chorus of the song. But first, let me have one of my Halloween sips. Guys, what did I say we were doing? We're doing the the I don't I forget. The second chorus is basically just the same as the first chorus, but twice. We have to make one tiny little adjustment. So we go C, Romeo, Juliet, A minor, Then the first time we went F, sus, three, four, G, G, G. This time at the end, we're gonna go F, sus, uh, uh, G, 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 G. So we, for the G, we just go down, up, down, up, down, up, down up instead of going down up down up down stop that's all there is to it so we just play it the chorus twice but we don't pause on the g that was awful that was the worst part of this video by far but i'm not gonna redo it i don't have time for that kind of thing we now get to the solo guys the solo which on the recording is a violin and all the live versions i've heard it's a guitar sometimes the solo is like a big old like like electric guitar fancy solo like exactly like i just did um but some and the, my favorite recordings are live recordings are the ones where the guitar just plays the violin part on guitar so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna learn the solo why not right why not why not rhinoceros what's your favorite zoo animal what's a zoo animal is a cow a zoo animal? It's more of a farm animal. Also, I don't know what the difference is between a farm and a barn. A barn is a building in a farm, on a farm. Do all farms need barns? Bucky Barnes is a character from Marvel, Winter Soldier. Here's the solo. Two, three, four. Wait. Two, three, four. So romantic. Put your ring finger on five of the third string from the bottom. Play that twice. Then keep that finger there. Put your pinky on six of the second string from the bottom. Play those two strings together. 
then slide your pinky to five and play those two strings together. Then get rid of your pinky and put your pointer finger on three of the second string from the bottom. If you're wondering what that little rat tat a tat sound is, we've got a little visitor and its name is Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff? Do you like Taylor Swift? Yeah, she's definitely a Taylor Swift kind of girl. Why aren't you looking at the camera? Do something cute. Do something cute, please. Aw, there she is. All right, you can go. She hates me so much. You're gonna keep your hand in that same basic position. Play five on the third string from the top two more times. Then play three on the second string from the bottom. Back to five on the third from the bottom. Then with your pinky, play five on the second string from the bottom. Then go back to third string from the bottom. Then go back to three on the second string from the bottom. So that right there was five, five, three, five, 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 three, five. I am playing down, plucking down on the third string from the bottom. I'm plucking up on the second string from the bottom. That helps for me. So I'm going like down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Then, then you just do the same thing you just did again. Then, here's where things really get cooking, guys. You're gonna reposition your hand completely. Play one on the second string from the bottom. We have a big long line of notes. It's all gonna be on the second string from the bottom. You're gonna play one, three, one, zero, and then one, three, one, six. That's one, three, one, zero, one, three, one, six. There's also, I should tell you, a, a quick little rest right at the beginning of this part. It's like three, four, rest. Like and subscribe. Three, four, rest. After you get to six, tiny little pause, then play five. Tiny little pause, then play three, one, one, one. So that was three, four, rest. One, three, one, zero, one, three, one, six. Five, three, one, one, one. Then here we go. The big finish, you guys. Second string from the bottom plays zero, one, zero. Then on the third string from the bottom play two, zero. So that was. Then on the third string from the top play three, two, three. So now we've got three, two, three. Then on the third string from the bottom play two zero zero then third string from the top play three three two two zero zero that was a lot of stuff you guys let me play it for you very up close and slowly and clearly clear close and slowly zero one zero two zero three two three two Zero, zero, three, three, two, two, zero, zero. Up to speed, it sounds like this. I'm just bucking down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up for this part. And then the final, the ending part on the second string from the top, play three, three, two, two, then play three, and then go to the third string from the top and play zero, two, and then you're gonna strum an A minor chord. Guys, let's play the solo all the way through. This part, I know, there's a lot of notes. It's gonna take some, you're gonna have to rewatch this part and all of that stuff. It's gonna be so much fun. You're gonna love it. Here's a solo. Two, three, four. tune so let me take care of that and then we'll finish up the song with the bridge and then the, the final chorus with the key change is gonna be so much fun after the solo we get to the bridge guys the bridge is just gonna be like hey, let me just play it for you it goes It's 
all there is to it, guys. It's just we're just doing one strum each on eight chords. First one's A minor. You know the A minor. Then we go to an F. You know the F. Then we go to a C. You know the C. Then we go to a G. You can, I, This is where I do like the full on G, like the full on classic G. You can do any of the G's we've already done in this song, or if you want to do the full on classic traditional folksy G, do ring finger, third fret, top string, middle finger, second fret, second string from the top, pinky, third fret, bottom string. Then we go back to A minor. Then we go back to F. Then we go back to C. And we go back to the G, guys. Let's play the bridge. One, two. I was singing out in town. And then some by my land and mouth. The balance she be dog on hay. And the Romeo and Juliet day. And then we go to the chorus. Guys, for the chorus, we're going to play the regular chords for the chorus. We're going to go C to G sus, A minor, F sus 2. To G. However, instead of doing our big, instead of doing this strumming for this chorus, we're gonna do tiny little palm muted strums. We're gonna go. Romeo Juliet went to the banking store, had a good time, and they never even knew the door was closing on the way. Oh, give me all your money, and I will have a monkey time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just like that. Okay. Then we get to the key change. Key change means, uh, it doesn't matter, whatever. We just play different chords. Okay, so for the final big chorus, guys, we're gonna total, totally new chords. We go to a D chord, middle finger, second fret, bottom string, ring finger, third fret, second string from the bottom, pointer finger, second fret, third string from the top. The classic D, have your thumb come up over the top and just touch the top string. You're gonna, now we're doing our big strumming. We're going, boom, da, bow, ba, da, bow, boom, da, ba, da, 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 ba. Then we go to an A. A, ring finger, second fret, second string from the bottom, middle finger, second fret, third string from the bottom, pointer finger, second fret, third string from the top, mute the top string still. Then we go to B minor, guys. When Tyler Swift plays this live, see, she, she sometimes plays the bar chord, sometimes as a non bar chord. So, bar chord is this, if you're familiar. It's kind of, it's where your pointer finger plays two, second string from the top, smashes down on the bottom five strings. Middle finger plays three on the second string from the bottom. Ring finger plays four, third string from the top. Pinky plays four, third string from the bottom. Guys, kind of a difficult chord. Um, we're not going to get into the, the tricks and tips for this. You can try this if you want. Great. If you don't want to, here's what Taylor Swift regularly does for this part. I say regularly. I think I've seen two videos of her doing this. Put your pointer finger on the third fret of the second string from the bottom. Put your ring finger on the third fourth fret of the third string from the bottom put your middle finger on the fourth fret of the third string from the top it looks like an a minor chord but scooched one two frets over now make sure the bottom string is muted by your pointer finger and then have your thumb mute the top string it would be great if your thumb could actually mute the top two strings and then aim for just the bottom four strings so it sounds same as the bar chord, it's just not quite as powerful. So then we're going, Romeo and Juliet, go into the monkey store. I am Juliet, I am a monkey store. Look out for the monkey man, he's gonna have a monkey store. And then we go to yet another G. This is like our fourth G we've had in this song. This is my favorite G right here. Middle finger plays three on the top string. Pointer finger plays two on the second string from the top. Hufflepuff woke up. Hi, Hufflepuff! Put your ring finger on three of the second string from the bottom. Pinky plays three on the bottom string. One, two, three, four, then back to the A chord. Let's play that all the way through again. Two, three, four. Romeo and Juliet, they are my favorite pair. They're so in love and I think about them everywhere. I am Thing, I'm a jig and I'm a good top. G is the chord and A is the monkey chord. Are you ready for the final? That's the f then okay. Then the big ending. We do that exact. We do that again. We go D two three four five six seven eight A two three four five six seven eight B minor three four five. 
five, six, seven, eight, then G, stay on G, stay on G, and then play a D. So that for that final part, we don't go G to A and then to D, we just go G, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, D. All right, so here's what we have to do. We have to play through the whole entire song. It's gonna be miserable, we're gonna hate it, but we have to do it because I stopped making sense about halfway through this video and if we don't go all the way through it, you're not gonna know what you're supposed to do. One, two, it is hot. Oh, it's cold, so cold. One, two, from the top. Cause I grew up in California Oh But that's also kind of a lie I saw it once or twice before I just didn't have enough snow To play in it So I don't count it as actually Seeing snow at all oh. Romeo, Juliet Driving up to Tahoe now Gonna go skiing Even though they like the snowboard But they don't have all the equipment so they have to rent it there It's a love story Baby, just say yes No, I did it perfectly Going downtown Gonna have some coffee I love to have coffee In my jalopy It's so cool You know that it's so cool Pre-chorus, here we go Coffee is fun When you're driving a bus And you can get privilege and a joy and an honor to share this special time with you on this day, Thanksgiving Day. I have no idea when this is coming out. Hopefully before Thanksgiving. That's like two months away, bruh. No, it's like a month and a half. 